Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to the 2019 Olds Fair Classic Semitol and Charlet shows. We're going to be starting off our shows with our Semitol today. Adjudicating our show today, we have Ms. Sheremy Viader. I'm going to give you a little bit of bio on her in a moment. But we have a short class here, so we're going to get them into the ring and get things rolling. Entry number 251 in this class is a scratch. Entry 251 will not be in this class. I'd like to say thank you to our show help today. Bringing our show, we have Robbie Chomek and Daryl Fornwald. Our marshals, Paula Martin. And actually, I'm not sure who that is in our Charlet yet, but I'll find out. Clerking, we have Donna Smith. And representing our ribbons today, we have Miss Taylor Chomek, Sarah Scott, and Addie Rice. I'd also like to say thank you to Mark and Joanne, Joanne Scholigan for our online broadcast. Thank you very much to DMLS. Comments from our judge on our spring heifer calves. This is any indication of the quality that we're going to see here in the female show. This is going to be fun. Uh, the heifer calf I start off with, she's a bit more juvenile in her look. She's fairly green is what I would call in her condition. But what I like about this female is the extension, the added extension that she has when you view her from the side. Beautiful in, in terms of presence and levelness and design. Really nice in terms of the shape to her hip. You get her out on the go and you watch her foot placement. Very square, very soft in her design. More powerful heifer stands there in second. And if you want to swap those two and talk about the added power, I'm not going to argue with you because she is bigger hipped and wider pinned with that added width and dimension comes just a touch more shoulder at the lower base of her shoulder she's not quite as long and necked and long and attractive as the calf that they used but still one I sure can appreciate from a quality standpoint taking nothing away from the female in third I think she's nice relative to the design that you see from an extension standpoint gets a touch rounder in her hip not quite as nice as the other two from a, just a how she handles that hind leg but I think all three of these females we're going to make super nice cow prospects. Great way to start off our Simmental show. Thank you, Sheremy. Our spring heifer calf goes to entry number 252, SMRT Lady Glitz 19G from SMRT Livestock. Second place goes to entry number 254, Lazy MC Diva 912G from Lazy MC Angus. And in third spot, entry number 253, CMS Duchess 965G from Checkmate Livestock.
And into class number three, our intermediate heifer calves, born February 1st to the 28th. That's what she said in the back of my truck bed as I was getting buzzed on suds out on some backcountry road. We were flying high, fine as wine, having ourselves a big and rich time. And I was going just about as far as she'd let me go. But her evaluation of my cowboy reputation had me begging for salvation all night long. So I took her out gigging frogs, introduced her to my old bird dog and sang her every Willie Nelson song I can think of, and we made love. And I saddle up my horse, and I ride into the city. I make a lot of noise, cause the girls, they are so pretty. Riding up and down Broadway on my old Stud Leroy, and the girls say, save a horse.
I'm just going to acknowledge it up front. It has nothing to do with the fact that they're black, okay? Has nothing to do with that. Has everything to do with the fact that they're the ones that hit me the hardest in terms of structure. Has everything to do with the, the build of these cattle. Because I still like a lot of things about the build and the body of these, but there's some things from a structural standpoint or movement standpoint that challenge me. Let's go ahead and lead out our class winner. Class winner is one, when you set this female, you watch her in the ring, there was never a doubt in my mind that she was going to win the class because you watch her, she works, her foot sits down is correct and the cushion and give that she has to her structure is excellent. She's big bodied, she's flat necked, and yeah, she has some throat to her, but that doesn't bother me because when she gives you this look, she gives you the look of a cow, and yet she still has some base to her, still juvenile and fresh in her condition. Excellent, excellent presentation to the female. Next two get a little challenging to me and that's why I walked the cattle because I was trying to decide where to go next let's go ahead and lead your heifer around and I think this heifer most is, is most similar to our class winner in terms of her structure when you read her in terms of the flex and she and flex and give that she has both at her knee and at her hock she's probably a touch prettier neck that doesn't and I appreciate that but the thing is I said over the female that comes next and let's go ahead and lead her out is the placement and design of her hock and hind leg how she handles handles that because that's where I change this female that comes around in third. She's a bit lower in her pin set, just a touch more rigid in her bone work. And I finally made my decision to pull her. She had an advantage in terms of bone work, just a touch bigger structured, perhaps than another black heifer that I might have pulled. But this baldy female, when she relaxes and just gets out and goes, she's sound enough, big hip, stout, and big body. Excellent set of cattle top to bottom here. I appreciate the other cow prospects out that we leave standing. Congratulations to the exhibitors. First place goes to entry number 258, BLI Joy, 919G from 